Hi and welcome to the Carmichael Workshop. Today I've got Santa hanging out with me and we're going to show you how we made this twisted Christmas tree. It's made from unfinished cedar so it even smells like a Christmas tree. Let's get started. My father-in-law replaced some of his old cedar fence boards. So I went over and picked up a stack and they all looked like this. They were gray and weathered. So Santa and I ran them through the planer and cleaned them up really nicely. It's pretty cool to see all this nice wood under all this weathering. But the widest point of the Christmas tree at the bottom is going to be 14 inches in diameter. So the first thing we need to do is cut these boards down to lengths of 14 and 1 8 inches. Santa helped me out by clamping a stop block to my fence that is exactly 14 and 1 8 inches away from the blade. That way I can make repeatable cuts and every board will be the same length. And it also keeps the fence away from the workpiece so it doesn't get trapped between the blade and the fence. Alright, we've got our boards cut to length and now we're going to rip them down to 3 quarter inch wide strips on the table saw. That cedar smells good, doesn't it Santa? Santa's using a piece of 3 quarter inch scrap to make sure the fence is exactly 3 quarter inches from the blade. Alright, we've got our 3 quarter inch strips cut, so now we're going to start cutting them to length, working from the bottom of the Christmas tree up. The bottom again is 14 inches wide, so we're going to cut two strips that are 14 inches, and then each level above that we're going to reduce by a quarter inch. So the next level up will be two pieces that are 13 and 3 quarter inch, and then we'll cut two pieces that are 13 and a half inch and keep cutting pieces until we get to the top of the Christmas tree. Alright guys, Santa helped me mark all these pieces starting with 14 inches all the way up to 1 inch in quarter inch increments. And the reason we cut them to 14 and an eighth long is so that every time we cut one we'll actually end up with two branches of the Christmas tree. So that eighth inch is going to compensate for the material that's removed by the saw blade. So we can cut these two at a time, so let's head over to the table saw. Well, we got all our pieces cut, and it's starting to look somewhat like a Christmas tree. So the next thing we need to do is there's two branches for every level of this tree. For example, here I have the two 14 inch lengths. So what I want to do is combine those together using half laps in the middle. So let's go cut some dados over on the table saw. Alright, we've got our dado set installed and ready to cut 3 quarter inch dados into our work pieces. And we did a couple of test cuts to make sure they fit okay. And Santa suggested I make this sleigh to make this process a little more safe and keep my fingers away from that blade. So now we're going to mark our pieces and make the cuts. Now that we've got the dados cut and all of the tree branches, we're going to turn our attention to the tree stand. Santa drew out a shape he likes for the base, so I'm going to cut that out over here on the bandsaw. I'm going to cut notches in the top of this piece and the bottom of this piece so that they'll slide together crossways.
We drilled a 3 8 inch hole vertically into the base without going through the bottom to accept this 3 8 inch dowel rod. So now we just need to drill 3 8 inch holes through the center of the branch pieces so that we can slide them onto the rod. For the top of the tree, we cut out the star and drilled a 3 8 inch hole in the bottom. So it slides onto the rod just like that and it secures everything into place. So there's the finished twisted Christmas tree. I didn't use some of the smaller pieces at the top, so in total I ended up with exactly 100 pieces that stack from the bottom to the top of the tree. So I need to thank Santa for his help. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and I'll see you next time.